Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I am just coming on here today. I figured we would try to, and you notice I said try. <laughs> I figured we will try to make something um, using the master boards that we created or that I created. Um, hopefully you created some as well. Um, so this one has this back. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything to the back of either of them right now. Um, I think I want to do um, maybe some tags and maybe some postcards. So let's work on the postcards first. I'm going to work on this one. This is the one that I created um, with you guys. This one was done on the back of um, a cover to a 12 by 12 paper pad. So. What I'm going to do is I am going to get my paper trimmer and I'm going to turn this over because I do not want to um, see where I am cutting it because I know me, I will try to um, cut it where I want it to cut and not necessarily where it should be cut. So I am going to cut these at four inches and then I will cut them at six inches. So the postcards will end up being a four by six. Oh my gosh, I am like majorly shaking, you guys. I am so sorry. Oh, I've got to get back into my other, my office, um, my studio, but um, things have just been a little crazy. I am so sorry. I'm gonna try and see what I can do. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut these off camera, and then I'll come back, and that way um, I won't be shaking you guys. Okay, guys, I am back. So I have cut these out, and they actually look so cute. Oh, I'm liking these. So what I've done is I've cut them on the back side where I could not really see um, how they were going to look, and I actually love them, so let me, let me do this, I am going to grab my corner chomper, my corner punch, and I'm going to attempt to round the corners, because I think I like that rounded corner, and so I'm just going to do that to each of them. So I hope all of you guys had a safe and happy new year. Um, we had a good new year. We had, um, we done some fireworks and then um, we had church yesterday. Um, so we had a good time. It's hard to believe that it's already 2023. And so, um, my goal this coming up week is to go back and look at some of the things that um, I've done, you know, on my channel in 2023, uh, some of the accomplishments, maybe even some of the things that I attempted to do that y'all might not have ne never seen because I failed miserably and I just didn't want to show you guys. <laughs> and there, that'll take up a whole bunch of time right there. Okay, why is this not going in? Look at that. Yeah, it's wanting to be difficult with me, but look at here, dude. Oh, I'm like bending it. Ugh. I guess that's why I really should get my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper out, but I'm being lazy and didn't feel like getting up and getting it. So, this is what I'm dealing with since I was being lazy. I have to deal with the consequences of that. Okay, almost done. Great goodness. Okay. Ooh, okay, we got that done. Thank goodness. Ooh. Now, what did I do with my ink blender? I do not know what I've done with it, so we may have to just blend it using just the ink pad. And that's what we're going to do because I don't feel like looking for it. 
So I think I have, let's see. I've just got these little ones out right now. Let's see what we can do maybe with this vintage photo. So I'm just taking just the ink pad directly onto it and just putting a little bit on there. So I wanna make it a little more vintagey looking. Man, I'm using too much ink. Maybe I should stop and go get my ink blender. I'm just rubbing some of it across it like that. So I think I like the way that looks. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. But I do need my ink blender, I believe. So let me... Let me grab that. And I'm putting you guys on hold again. But I will be back, I promise. Okay, guys, I am back. I do apologize. So, um, y'all know I can't use any ink blender other than the ones from Clint and Shell over at the Rambling Crafter. I am spoiled to these ink blenders. If you do not have one of these, trust me, you need one. So, I am just getting, I'm going to ink the back up a little bit. Oh, that's a juicy ink pad. So I'm just inking the back a little bit, and then I'm going to do some stamping on the back. Um, I've got my Tim Holtz stamps somewhere. I pulled them out, and I have the ones that look like stamps. What are these? The Stamp collector, that's what they are called. Sorry for all the rattling. And I think I want to use the number three. And I don't remember what I've done with my ink pad. Why is that not sticking on there? Normally that's what I use. But I don't know what I've done with my stamp block. It's probably right here under my face. But I'm not going to stress because I got too much other stuff to do. So we're just going to do it like this. Alright, so I'm putting my stamp there. And what else do I want to put? Um... I don't know that I really want to do much more on the back. We could do this paid. Let's do that one. But I think I'm going to do it maybe in a blue. And I'm just going to do it like right there. And guys, don't do like I do. Try to use a stamp block. Uh, but you guys know me enough to know that I'm goofy. All right, I'm just looking to see if there's any other ones that I might want to put on here. There's another paid one that I like. I'm just sticking that back in. Um, let's do this one here. It's pretty cute. I must not have ever used it. I haven't. Because that one was still stuck into the plastic thing. Which I know you don't have to keep on that plastic thing on it. But I like having it there. So now I'll do, I want to do, let's do this maybe. Let's do it like this color here. Okay. I like that. That's looking cute. And what I will do, because I didn't bring it in here, um, I have like a straight line type thing that I can put down the middle there. Um, you know how it looks like a, a postcard. So I'll do that. And then do I want to do anything on the front? I mean, 
don't know that I do. Um, I'm just looking to see what I have right here. I'm not sure that I want to do anything on that front because it looks so cute. Um, look, there's that. I'm not going to do some of that stamping. Hmm. I'm just looking, I've got my ephemera over here, or some of my ephemera over here to the side, and I'm just looking through it to see if there's anything I might want to use. You know what? This is some of my um, homemade fabric washi. This might actually look cute to put like a piece on here. I think it would. Whether it does or not, we're doing it. So I made this by getting um, carpet tape and putting my fabric on the carpet tape and then I cut it into strips and actually this stuff is stronger than fabric washi ever thought of being because man once you put that stuff on it's not going anywhere even if you want it to um I am let's see let me pull this little thing out here because I've got some bits and pieces in this. Ooh, we got, what about something like that? And look, we've got some stamps there. This is airmail. All of that might be cute. Um, see, this is where I start getting into problems because I really just want to use it all. And I know that I don't need to use it all. I really don't want to put much more on the back because I want this to be like a journal card. So I think what I'm going to do is just put a couple of these on the front and then we'll call this done. I think that's cute. I think we're going to do it like that. See guys, I can never make my mind up because I love it all and so I want to use it all. I have a bad habit of that. So I'm just putting some art glitter glue down and I'm just going to glue that right there. And this I will glue there and then I may actually stitch over this postcard, like stitch around the um, edge of it look at that I mean and it was guys there was really not much to do to it because it was already done from the master board being done so let's go on to the next one let's just see what we can do I am going to go back with my vintage photo and just kind of ink around the edges a little bit I could have went with a different color, but I just went on with my vintage photo. And I think I want to do, all right, and I am going to do some vintage photo on the back. Because I want to get it a little inked up. I am going to do a couple of things on the back of this one. I am going to put these stamps on the back. I am going to leave a lot of the room though to where um, it can be used as a journal card. But I do want these stamps on there. And I'm just going to put them right there. And then I think I am going to get out um, let's see, I got this one here. It says, paid post office five cents. And I am going to kind of do this on the corner of the stamp. I love that. 
And do I want to do another one of these? I'm just looking to see. I really did like that little brown one. So let's do it as well. Brown, listen at me. The oval one, guys. I know my shapes most times. <laughs> that look that looks so cute and then if I come right here and do my um the line in the middle like I'm wanting to do I think that will look cute now what do I want to do on the front here um so this doesn't have a lot on the front of this one so I need like more of a focal point on this one for sure and I'm just trying to see. I've got all sorts of stuff. And I love all of these little pieces of ephemera. I like that. So that's a good possibility. That doesn't have enough color to it, I don't think. Let's get this here. There's a butterfly. Trying to see what all I have. I'll get some of these things out that I might use on some of the postcards, whether it's on this one or not. Just I'm getting some out. And I have tons of tons of my digitals. I should have printed some of those out to use, but I just wasn't thinking. I was honestly just trying to get over here and get this video done because I don't want to fall back behind like I did. So that's what I've been trying to work on. So I'm just pulling out some of this stuff that might be a contender, whether on this one or one of the other ones. I do, I do want a little bit of a selection. I think I got enough pulled out now. Well, as I said that, I found all of these, so I don't know how I am. And all of this Tim Holtz, these little bitty things, oh, I love it all. I really do. I know y'all know that. Okay, I got way out way more out than what I could possibly need, but that's me. You guys know that. So I am just looking to see what butterflies, because I think I want a butterfly on it. I think I know that much for certain. I just don't know what butterfly I want, and I don't know if I want that. So we've got that little bird there. What about if we done like a butterfly maybe here? I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking. See guys, this is what happens with me. I start overthinking things. And then it kind of just all goes downhill once I start overthinking. And y'all know I'm good at overthinking. This says it's Christmas, but I see some stuff in there that I might want to use. These are some of those um, MR packs that I got from Tuesday morning when I done that last haul. And guys, I've got so much stuff. So much ephemera and all sorts of stuff, but I'm really going to try not to buy more stuff um, this year. Not until I use quite a bit of this up. So that's some of my um, motivation for using some of this stuff. All right, and this is some stuff from the Paper Studio. So this is Hobby Lobby. And I know that I would have 
got this at 50% off because I know I would not have paid full price. So I'm liking that there actually. And I think we need something else on it. I think what I need is like a label of some sort. I need my word labels. What did I do with those? My um, build notes labels. But I think I've already put them up. It looks like I have, so we're not going to stress too much. We will go to plan B. Okay, I think I like that. And then I think that, what do you guys think? I think that'll be cute. So let's do that. Let's just do it before I start thinking about it too much. Because then I will not do it. I will overthink it. And I, fair warning guys, I did not take my ADHD medicine this morning. So I am not responsible for the content in this video today. There is no telling how it will turn out. I, I only have half a dose left and I need that for work tomorrow and then I'll go to the pharmacy and pick up my medicine on my lunch break but I needed to take that at least that half a dose before going to work tomorrow so that's why I didn't take any today and it is a challenge to get stuff done whenever you have ADHD and yeah, don't take your meds. So there we go. There's that disclaimer. But it'll be okay. As long as y'all can deal with me going all over the place. All right. And so I'm just gonna stick that there. I think that's cute. So we've got that. And then on the back, we've got it like that. And then you'll be able to journal on it. Okay. So we got these two done. Look, those are so cute. Okay, let's do one more. I mean, I am like taking way too long to do this stuff. So let's not worry with the back right now. Let's just worry about the front since I am being so goofy. And then I can do the, um, the back side whenever I go to put it in the journal. And then I can decide if I want to do it like a postcard or if I want to maybe put some coffee dyed paper on it and make it more of a journal card. Um, so that's what I think I want to do. And so I'm looking to see. Again, I apologize for the rattle. I think that bird's too big with that, that flower there. But I think a bird would be cute there if I can get a smaller one. How about something like that? That's not too bad. And then I could put... looking to see what I have. I don't want to put too much, but again, I liked all the stuff. How about handle with care? Let's see what that would look like. I think I like that. Let's just do it. Lord, I'm getting two of these at one time. I'm glad I checked that. put him down like right here just 
just like that because we want that focal point. That's what we want. And then I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. And I'm going to just stick it right there. There we go. Look how cute these are, guys. Even for me doing them, they're still cute. Because y'all know I don't do this kind of stuff real well. But I do like using up my, um, my master board. And those are super cute. Okay, so let's see. I think that's probably all we really have time for because I have played around so much. So we've got this one done, this one done, and this one done. Those are cute. Look at that. And you see, I mean, honestly, I didn't even have to do anything to them. I just wanted to. But they were cute. Like this one here. This one is almost ready to go as is because of the way that it came out. Um, it's got a focal point on it already. Um but I could put a little bit more embellishment on it. I need to glue that down a little better. So, um, what could I do here? I'm thinking it needs something over here. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I think I like that. So let's put that on there. going to put this one little thing on it. I don't think I'm going to put anything else on this because we have a focal point and we have a label. Um, if anything, I might do some stamping on it with like some of the stamps. Um, but I think that's cute just like that. Here is another one that is pretty cute as is because it also has that big stamp on it, um, like the one I just used. Let's see, we might put, um, what about if we put, um, just looking to see what I have. What about that? I think that's cute. Let's do it. I don't even know why I'm inking that because it's not really taking the ink, so. I'm just gonna put that right there. And it might need a label. Guys, you know I like my labels. Let's see what we have. I don't want to take a lot of time looking for a label. Because I've already taken up so much time as it was. That I could do something like that. And that would be cute. Or I could put this blank label here, and then I could get my, um, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me put this down. I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab this one that says $7.85, maybe, if I don't drop it. And I am going to ink it with this mahogany or whatever this is. And I'm going to stamp that right there. 
And I can stamp this, you know, stamp it all. I ain't no sense wasting that ink. Okay. Look, guys, those are cute. Okay, we only have one more, and I'll be completed all of it. So let's go for it. Why not? How many of you guys are still sticking with me? With all of my craziness. Okay, so let's see what we have on this one. So I have, it says 1929 there. We got a sm uh, slight focal point there. So we can run with that. Um, we could... Maybe put that there, or we could do another um, label. Let's do a red. Let's see what red looks like on it. Oh, I like that. And then we can put something out of that um, specimen pack or whatever it is of Tim Holtz. And we can do a stamp on that. Mm, let's do, I'm just looking to see what I have. Um, I don't know. This is my problem because I, I stay filed and be done with it because I am like majorly overthinking and we're going to do it in blue and we're going to put it right there okay and there we go I think we're going to call that done um you know like I said we can do more to the um the backs of these um, cards whenever I go to put them into a, um, a journal, you know, whatever I'm going to use it for, then I can decide um, exactly how I want the back to look. But, you know, aside from me being goofy and taking too much time looking for stuff, um, you see it didn't take long at all once of actual time working on it so let me pull out the others and just show you guys what we ended up with moving some stuff out of the way so we've got that one that one look how cute these turned out guys i love them all right guys thank you so much for sticking with me for those of you that stuck all the way through to the end of the video i appreciate it let me know what you think of the postcards from um, the master board that we created and in tomorrow's video i will see what i can do about maybe making some tags um, using the other master board i actually need to probably make some more master board because guys i've got so many scraps it's not even funny but Thank you guys for staying with me and for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.